Steve Bell with Heavy Reading at CES, uh, covering for the connected car. I'm here with uh, John Ronka mm -hmm. from yep. Arm, your GM for the embedded space that includes the connected car. It as includes well. automotive, yeah. So, so my group is looking after all of the, the products and services that Arm offer um, that are targeting for, for automotive and other embedded markets. So, uh, industrial, healthcare, robotics, those kind of spaces. And you well. had a reorganization recently that, oh, in the last six months, right? We, we did, we did. We changed from being product group organized to having uh, teams that are looking at the complete solution for specific services. Segments. So within my group, um, we look after products, so including all the CPUs that Arm's well known for, um, but also other products like GPUs, uh, video display, image processors, all of the system IP, and all of the software and the ecosystem uh, enablement. That all that all comes into my team now. And the GPUs seem to be something that that's sort of you know being used everywhere now as a sort mm. of a mechanism for enhancing processing. Are you seeing that as well? Or are you... yeah, ab absolutely. Um, I mean, in, in the connected car space. Um, we very much believe in a, in a mix of heterogeneous processing. So yes, you need a lot of CPU compute, but you also need other accelerators, whether that's for machine learning or, or other purposes. Now, whether that's done through a GPU or a DSP or purpose-built accelerator, um, it's a combination of, of those, but very much we see that mix and providing that mix of compute to our customers. So when you look at the embedded space for industrial IoT and mm -hmm. others and then connected car, are, are, there, are there actual sort of crossover of requirements between those spaces or are yeah, they very, very much so, very much so. So, um, I mean, a lot of the, the, the basic needs in terms of compute are, are similar. Um, but, but two of the, the key areas, um, two of the key areas we focus on are, are safety and security. Um, so safety is all about uh, making sure that the, that the processors do what they say they're going to do right. and they perform reliably. Um, and, and security is all about obviously making sure that they can't be exploited by, by, by third parties. And, and those themes cut across all of those different segments. So, so being able to operate safely and securely is important in, in all the segments we're operating. And, it's, and it's, that's the security in a car is kind of difficult because of the fact that you've got you know, a, a connectivity bus within the vehicle, yeah. you've got connectivity out of the vehicle. So how do you how do you provide a sort of an architecture of trust across that? Yeah, I mean, security in a car is, I guess, is a, is a, is a the biggest possible IoT system. It's a whole yeah. microcosm of, of, of what's there. Um, you need to make sure all the individual nodes are secure, um, but also that the whole system has been, been designed well. Um, we, we published uh, last November our security manifesto for what we believe security needs to look like in the IoT. And all of those themes apply across any type of IoT device, whether it's a small sensor device or if it's a fully connected car with all the systems that are involved in that. The same security themes really apply. And, and AI is one of those things that's you know is a theme throughout the uh, absolutely you know, the CES. I mean, from a perspective of the moving from connected car through you know the ADAS system to mm -hmm. autonomous. I mean, how did how does this all come together? I mean, how are you architecting the future? So, so as I say, I mean, our, our, our vision for for, for for ADAS systems and autonomous. Um, is that you do this require this mix of heterogeneous compute. So you right. do require um, some CPUs and lots of different sizes of CPUs depending on the type of processing that you're doing. But you also need uh, machine learning. Um, so for processing all of the sensor information and for fusing the sensor information together. Um, and, and from our point of view, we're investing heavily in, in uh, providing software for machine learning and enabling that to be done on various forms of, of compute. But there's also a lot of computer vision going in. I mean, there's hmm. most of these cars out here have got sort of cameras on yeah, every so I was, corner. Yeah, I was counting that as part of the machine learning. That's one type of machine learning. So, okay. so we have um, uh, an investment in a, uh, in, in a group that's building one of, the, one of our product lines is a computer vision uh, a product line. Um, and one of the products that we announced uh, last year is, uh, is an image processor that's optimized for automotive. So the combination of that image processor and the compute vis computer vision engine for, for object recognition is, is part of the investment we're making for automotive. So are you are you work actively delivering an architecture for the autonomous or you know the autonomous vehicle, or or is that still at an early stage of discussion? Yeah, it's it's a combination of things. So some of the things that we're doing are providing uh, generic IP that's used in any market. So yeah. some of the CPUs, and some of it is adding specific capabilities that are useful for, for automotive. So whether that's the safety side of things or some security. 
Um, and then some of it is specific products that we're developing that are really targeted uh, just at automotive. And, and part of the aim of my group is to bring all that together into a, a complete uh, system solution um, that we can offer to our customers. And, and we've always wanted to provide all of our customers choice in terms of how they use the IP and how they deliver the solutions to their customers. But by looking at it holistically and bringing it all together, we're able to do that much better. Super. Thanks very much, John. Cool. Appreciate Thank you. the update. Thank, Thank you. you.